Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. Back in the year 2004, we saw evidence from the Rush study out of Chicago that higher intake of the B vitamin niacin or vitamin B3 was associated with a reduced risk of developing Alzheimer's disease and cognitive decline in subjects over the age of 65. So over the five year period, individuals ingesting more than 22 milligrams a day of niacin from food and supplements per day on average showed much greater protection against memory loss and Alzheimer's disease development than did subjects ingesting 12 milligrams of niacin a day on average or less. Now this is significant because the recommended daily allowance or the RDA for niacin set by the government is 16 milligrams for men and 14 milligrams a day for women. And this level appears to be too low to prevent age-related memory loss over a person's lifetime and help reduce risk of Alzheimer's disease. Now we've also seen improvements in cognitive test scores and overall brain function reported by European trials using high dose niacin supplementation. Researchers have identified that niacin plays important roles in the brain which are tied to events linked to the prevention of cognitive decline and Alzheimer's disease and thus niacin treatment has been used in certain trials. Now in 2022, a groundbreaking study was published in the Journal of Science Translational Medicine which showed another critical important role for niacin in blocking the development of Alzheimer's disease. In this study, researchers showed that immune cells in the brain and in the nervous system called microglia cells possess niacin receptors, and the receptors are called the HCAR2 receptor. When niacin activates this receptor, microglia cells spring into action reducing the buildup of beta amyloid plaque, which is a hallmark feature of Alzheimer's disease. Now, niacin activation of microglia cells in the brain also helps to prevent death of brain cells, reduces brain inflammation, and in animal models, shows improvement of working memory that had previously been lost. Now, studies on human brain tissue show that similar actions occur in the human brain when sufficient niacin is present. So the bottom line appears to be that microglia cells in the brain need sufficient niacin stimulation each day to help guard against events linked to Alzheimer's disease development. And the amount required appears to be higher than the current recommended daily allowance. In practical terms, it requires getting niacin from food and supplementation. Now for a long time we thought that niacin was primarily required at low doses in the body to synthesize what's known as NAD in the cells of the body, also in brain cells. Which, and NAD is required for the cells to make energy. But recent studies show that higher levels of niacin intake appear to be required to help prevent the buildup of dangerous tau proteins seen in Alzheimer's disease and to remove beta amyloid plaque from the brain before it becomes involved in Alzheimer's disease. At least this is what some of the new studies and researchers are proposing. In fact, pharmaceutical companies now are making niacin lookalike drugs such as niaspan and using them in animal and human research studies involving Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and other neurological diseases. Now traditionally, niacin drugs have been used to reduce high triglycerides and to raise the HDL, the good cholesterol, in medical practice. But the use of high dose niacin and niacin drugs are now being used more and more in patients with neurodegenerative diseases. This is a new application. Based on animal models, the human equivalent to help treat early stage Alzheimer's disease would require humans taking a dose of 500 milligrams a day of the drug niacin or, or getting nicotinic acid, which is the form of niacin that's been shown to stimulate the microglia cells in the brain. Typically, uh, 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams a day is prescribed by doctors to help raise triglycerides, to lower triglycerides, and also to raise the HDL levels in people with cardiovascular risk factors. So a daily dose of just 500 milligrams a day is well within the safe range, because typically doctors are already prescribing 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams for cardiovascular patients. They're saying, at just 500 milligrams a day, we think we can get an effect to help uh, prevent and manage certain neurodegenerative conditions. However, taking a dosage this high requires medical supervision, especially to track liver enzymes, as a high dose niacin, 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams a day, it can cause liver damage and is contraindicated in people that have gout or gallbladder problems. But I think the takeaway message for most of us is that getting sufficient niacin each day from food and supplementation on a preventive basis 
makes good sense and that the RDA level of niacin appears to be too low to exert important anti-aging effects on the brain. So you can easily accomplish you know, adequate niacin intake by eating a healthy diet and taking a high potency multiple vitamin and mineral each day that contains a B50 complex that would include 50 milligrams of niacin. It's a very safe dose. So I've recommended this strategy for over many years for many different reasons. The latest reason to consider doing this is the stimulation of the brain microglia cells. Studies suggest that this strategy can help to prevent key steps in the development of Alzheimer's disease and possibly other neurodegenerative conditions as well. Now for patients with early stage Alzheimer's disease right now or Parkinson's patients or people with multiple sclerosis, they may want to speak to their neurologist about high dose niacin or niacin lookalike drugs like niaspan as an additional treatment intervention. There's some promising evidence there. I've included the references for this information in the text below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.